We never thought it would happen. Nobody gets in or out of that town now, is that clear? How do you intend to let the people know about all this? We were asleep. Well, they dragged us right out of the house. Are we under martial law? We've got to get a nuclear weapon in the air above that town. Hey, what the hell's going on, Sheriff? They started something they can't stop. The crazy. Unleashed by human error. The crazy. Can they tame it before time runs out? All right, once again, this is your brain. On drugs. Questions? Yeah! We interrupt this program. This is an international emergency message. Please stand by for instructions. The following cities in Los Angeles. Someone's listening to me. In order to ensure your safety, you must avoid the blast, avoid the heat, and... Are you listening to me? Charles Manson has always terrified me. I'm not sure will people worship him. I've always been terrified, still am, of water, dark water. People want to hear these stories, as dark as they are. It's morning again in America. Today, more men and women will go to work than ever before in our country's history. I've always been obsessed with Hollywood death. Poor Sharon Tate. It was so brutal, and there was no warning, nothing they could do. And the dead Disney kids, have you heard those stories? The dead Disney kids. Bobby Driscoll. That was his name. James Dean was totally bisexual. Is even up for debate? I was obsessed with all things James Dean. James fucking Dean. Where is everyone? Have you pissed in George Michael's urinal? I haven't. <laughs> Someone's outside my window. When I first moved to LA, I didn't really know anyone. I was really far away from home for the first time, and I ended up spending a lot of time in cemeteries reading books about Sharon Tate and Marilyn Monroe at their actual graves. What better place to read about your dead idols? Dallas, Texas. Here is a bulletin from CBS News. In Dallas, Texas, three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade in downtown Dallas. The first reports say that President Kennedy has been seriously wounded by this shooting. I grew up outside of Dallas, Texas, and I was obsessed with Kennedy assassination. I learned about Sharon Tate for the first time at the grassy knoll. Someone had left behind their copy of Helter Skelter. Which I still have. That book, all the other weird Texas shit, and Sharon Tate sent me down, me down a, rabbit a rabbit hole. hole. Hollywood sign girl. girl, Peg and Whistle. She shares the birthday with my mom. Peg is the only documented suicide off the Hollywood sign. She jumped off the letter H. I wonder where you were going. On September 16th, 1932, Peg tells her uncle that she's popping out to a neighborhood drugstore to meet some friends. The drugstore is just a short hike of Beechwood Canyon Drive under the Hollywood sign. But Peg doesn't stop at the drugstore. She continues the mile and a half hike 
up the hill to the sign. I seem to have fallen out of time. I wonder what she was thinking as she climbed that ladder. She must have known her suicide was going to bring her notoriety and death. Peg only appeared in one Hollywood movie, and that movie was called 13 Women, and it was released a month after she died. Spooky. She had a role in a real Hollywood movie coming out. Why did she want to kill herself? Climb up the age of the Hollywood sign. Peg left behind a suicide note. I am afraid. I am a coward. I am sorry for everything. If I had done this a long time ago. It would have saved a lot of pain. P.E. Hey, <laughs> Reading old obituaries is fascinating to me. There's so much judgment in them. The bruised body of a girl who failed. Peg was tormented in life and her death was sensationalized. There are heroes and monsters in us all. Which one are Which you? Which one are you? Peg arrived in Hollywood with that same cliche dream. While waiting for a close-up, she fell through the looking glass and found what lies behind the sign. I don't know why it is, but I'm frightened. I fear just about as vague as its object. Maybe it isn't really a fear, it's more just a sense of disquiet. A feeling that things are a little wrong.